Hey, welcome back guys, JC here, and I want to take a minute to talk about the newest feature that Betaflight has added into its OSD tab, which is the ability to see your roll, pitch, and yaw on your on-screen display. Now, why would you want to see your PIDs on your on-screen display? What would, like, what good is that? Well, if you actually combine that with the adjustments tab, and if you watch my last video where I show you how to completely set this up, you can actually change your uh, pitch PID, roll PID, and yaw PID using switches on your transmitter. This means that you no longer have to land and uh, it, it's just basically faster. So real quick, let me just go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's just say I want to change my roll P. I can do that. My I, my D, Same thing for pitch, I, D, and then y'all, P, I, and D. So once again, why is this such an amazing thing? Well, if you've been around for a while, you would know that originally, anytime we wanted to tune our PIDs, we had to fly around uh, try to guess, you know, where we want to change our PIDs to, and then we would actually have to land, plug in USB cable, or well, we would have to bring our laptop to the field with us. Who wants to do that? Plug in a USB cable, make the changes, save, disconnect the USB cable, then go fly some more, come back, and do the whole process all over again. Then it got a little bit easier once on-screen display started adding in TX menus, which allows you to uh, move your sticks in a certain order, uh, I will also leave videos on how to do that with both this and MWOSD firmware. So real quick, let's take a look at that. Uh, so you would still have to land your multi-rotor, disarm it, uh, come to profile, go to PID, and then you would have to change all of your PIDs here, which, I mean, it, it doesn't take too much time, but it's just the fact that you still have to land, change all of these, uh, go back, then go back again and then save and reboot I'm editing the video and I just want to point something out if you watch my video on how to enter the uh, OSD menu then in that video I say it's y'all right and pitch up but in this that's on the old firmware on this newer firmware it is now y'all left and pitch up as you can see on the screen it's pretty annoying having to redo these videos every time some something stupid changes, but it is what it is. And now you can rearm it and continue flying. So now you should have a pretty good idea of why this is such a useful thing, being able to... Uh, I mean, we've always had the adjustments tab, but we just now got the PIDs on the on-screen display. And the problem with using the adjustments tab in you know, throughout history is, yeah, you can set this up and I can change my PIDs using six different switches, but sometimes, so I, let's just say I'm trying to change my pitch P, but I'm accidentally changing my roll P. Or sometimes I think I'm increasing my pitch P value, but really I'm decreasing it and I'm just not aware because I'm not paying attention. Or, you know, say I'm trying to pitch, change my pitch I, but I'm really changing the D and it, it gets to be a headache when you can't see what you are changing. At least this way, you can now catch your mistakes whenever you're just, you know, got six different switches going and you're trying to remember what's what. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, like I said, check in the description below for many other uh, helpful videos that will help you set everything up to be able to use this. Uh, and thanks for watching. I will see you again soon.